Hey, welcome back to our 75 noon weekly devotion. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, today, I'm just gonna piggyback off of Pastor Chad's message on Sunday and uh, just wanted to talk a minute about uh, your daily time with the Lord. Um, so I'm gonna start off by reading Psalm 119, uh, verse nine through 11. Uh, and that says, how can a young man keep his way pure by living according to your word? I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So daily time with the Lord is just that. Um, you, you, can't, you can't live according to the word without knowing the word. And you can't live according to his commands without knowing his commands. Um, so my, for, for me, this 75 new is just a reminder uh, just to stay diligent in your daily time with the Lord. Um, and so one, one thing, I, I just want to encourage everybody today, uh, we're, we are memorizing scripture, but you, you may not remember every single word, but one thing that I've noticed over, I'd say the last 10 years of my life, is I may not be memorizing scripture word for word, but as you read, as you do your daily time of devotion with the Lord, um, you'll, begin to, you'll begin to remember these things. You'll be, uh, begin to bring them back throughout your day. Um, so I may not remember every word of what I just read, but what, as, I, as I'm going throughout my day, I can, I can remember as I'm getting ready to make a decision, that stuff will come back to you. Uh, and that's how you hide it in your heart is by reading it and just saturating your life in that that stuff comes back to you. So a little bit of encouragement from me is just don't, don't worry so much about having every word memorized. Just do your daily uh, devotion with the Lord every single day, and that stuff will begin to hide in your heart. And uh, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be going throughout your day, you'll have a discussion with somebody, or you'll need to make a decision, and that will come back to you. And you'll remember, you know, I don't remember exactly where that was at in the Bible, but I do remember the, the summary of what I read, that it, and that helps guide me as, as I make my decisions. Um, so just make it a daily thing, remove your distractions. The, the biggest thing, in my opinion, that you can do is to set aside your phone. Uh, this feels old school, reading out of the Bible, the paper Bible. I, I have, over the years, I, ha I can see so much benefit to reading out of this paper Bible. Um, there, there's no way that I can, I can have my phone sitting in my pocket or sitting next to me on this table. Uh, even, even, if I, even if I have it on do not disturb mode, uh, there, there's always some way that there's a distraction there because the enemy's good at that. He, he knows that that's one really good way that he can get to us today. And so I would just encourage you just to set that aside, pick up your Bible every day and, and use the Bible. Um, and then I, I would also encourage you, as just as Pastor Chad said, to make sure and find a, a good spot to do this at. For me, I, I, used to, I used to go to work early in the morning and I used to sit at my desk at work and I found out that that was the worst thing that I could do. Uh, there's, there's a calendar on my computer, there are sticky notes on my desk reminding me of all the things that I have to do, and inadvertently I'm looking at those and I cannot stay focused on what I'm reading. So I, I just want uh, just a little bit of encouragement this morning, just find a place to do it. Just pick up your paper Bible, set your phone aside, and that, that alone will help to remove a lot of the distractions and, and just find yourself a, a place to do it. And another thing is I, I know that sleep is precious, I have four kids. Uh, but just get yourself up a little bit earlier in the day. Uh, do it to where you don't feel rushed. If you think you want to give uh, 15 minutes to this in the morning to start with, I, I would say get up an extra 30 or 45 minutes so that you aren't looking at the clock, um, thinking about all the, you know, all the, that you have to get right back to, to doing what, to going throughout your day. Um, I, would, I would encourage you just to get up just a little bit earlier and, and just to spend that time with God every single day. Um, so that's, that's all I really have for you guys. Um, just encouragement to not focus so much on remembering every single word that you read, but just do it daily and that stuff will naturally kind of start to come back to you as you hide it in your heart. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Uh, again, just dig into this, uh, enjoy this time. And um, if you're staying up to date with this, uh, there should be a phone number that comes up on the bottom of your screen. Make sure that you send a text to that so that you receive these daily or uh, weekly reminders. Hope you guys have enjoyed this and have a great week. God bless.